there's a facility that has no IPI. Yeah, hospital based, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I'm Ashley. This is our first FDA approved machine, first and only FDA approved machine that does IHD, CRT, and sledge. CRT is going to be a bag list. So we are connected to a portable farm over there. You say you have the work for so we're able to do that that way. Okay. So it's more like the side or the ICU that you can do. Even if you're in an hospital, like a small regime, you can just use that. Okay. And my background is a QC, so when I said, I'm like, okay, that's push that one machine so you don't have two machines. So that's a, that's a benefit there. Okay. So let me show you guys how we into the different treatments. This is going to be your treatment screen. You're actually your treatment screen. This is what you're going to use to get your eyes and everything from this screen. Okay. So if you wanted to change your modality mid-treatment, you want to set it. You get dialysate settings. Here's your dialysate flow rate. Change that to whichever one. Okay. Can you modify those ones? Do you have to be three, one, three, five, seven? Or are you able to put in a 350 or 250? No, not for the so the dialysate flow rate. These are the set dialysate flow rates. Okay, so you can't modify those? No. Okay. So then here's your your iPhone, your your story, everything for your patient. Yes, Christina. Yes. Is she there? So they're not like Christina. Okay. You have to go say hi. Yeah. Make sure you get a picture. Okay. Post it. Tag me. They have ranges. And they're non-modified. Whatever is in there is in there. Yep. Well, so we can. Okay. You, you can. If you have something that's specified, yes, because it's all simply a software change. Okay. Okay. So poster, I'm gonna. So you and Sandy here. One of you guys is Sandy. All right. So go to your dialysate settings. So this is where you change. So let's say you wanted to change your sodium. So hit change. So this is your range here. You have 135 to 145. Now, a good thing about this machine, you see how these numbers are? The blue, that's the only number that you can touch. So you can put like 200 and back. Yep. Okay. Alright. So then your acid type. And this is just for in center and hospital. This isn't a home machine. Are you guys in the process of trying to get it home, or is that yes. just? Oh yeah. Okay. So if it's approved for SLED and uh, HD, is it going to be approved for nocturnal since it's continuous? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. I like to hear that. Okay. Now let me ask you this: What machines do you guys use in your facility? We have a Nepro. Okay. It's a couple of them, and then we have the Presenius 2008. Okay, this for the IHD, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you use the other one for CRT. We don't. No, don't we use next stage. Yeah. We do CRT. Are you guys? Are you still looking at next stage? Next stage. Yeah. We are always interested in seeing what's out there. Okay. Yeah. This way. This way. This is it right here. I'm telling you. How heavy is it? I, I am loving how it says right on the arrow. I'm how heavy is it? This is 70 pounds. Okay. All right. That's not bad. And it has like these little lifters. Okay. Michael and Christina are home care patients. My wife is legally blind. Yeah. And so I administer dialysis. We do nocturnal HHD. Okay. So. They travel all over the place. And do all their dialysis and record their stuff out in the world 